Hi friends, today we are going to see about the responsibilities and rights. Under this, the first topic is loyalty. It is nothing but the responsibility of an employee to the concerned organization and the employer. It can be in the form of two types. First one is agency loyalty. It is to fulfill one's contractual duties without stealing from another employer, irrespective of what kind of motive behind it. And the second one is attitude loyalty. It has lot to do with their attitudes, emotions and sense of personal identity. And it may adequately perform all their assigned tasks or work responsibilities to them. And what do you mean by collegiality? It is nothing but a work environment where the responsibilities and authorities are shared among the colleagues. It is like that any ethical or illegal practice must be reported to an authority for the necessary action. So the collegiality between the employees can improve based on an ethical grounds. The next topic we are going to discuss about is and respect for authority. How authority can gain his respect? He can gain through the proper decision making, the right to direct the works and the right to give orders based on their person's capability or employer's capability. Meanwhile, the authorities possess the legal rights over the superiors which makes his subordinate to perform in an ethical background. The second to third topic we are going to discuss about is collective bargaining. So collective bargaining is nothing but a method of agreement to a set of people for their basic negotiation and discussion between the, the top level management and the employers. So presenting characters of demand by the union on behalf of the constitutional elements. The next topic is confidentiality. According to confidentiality, the documents and data should not be relieved in any, in any case of certainty. Maintaining documents is an ethics to an engineer. If any kind of conflict arises, such as change in jobs or personal reasons or exchange of rights, in whatever the reasons, they should not misuse their documents in the present organization to an another organization. According to that, the occupation crime can be referred in terms of committing the crimes done under the professions, personal reasons, community, victimless crimes or blue collar crimes. So the engineers add in some of the professional rights which is nothing taken care by them providing the necessary remedies to the problems occurred in the society on the day to day basis. So they can protect the people and give the remedies and earn respect through their professional rights. And the next one is nothing but in discrimination. So what do you mean discrimination? Nowadays, discrimination plays a major threat, alright? Where the discrimination is then? It is based on race, color, age, national or ethical origin. These things are to be eradicated or eliminated. The equality says you have been treated less favorably. So, the discrimination plays the major role in an ethical values which makes the employer to, may, to work under uncertainty conditions. So, the discrimination should be eradicated and how your new innovation ideas or creativity can be owned by yourself. It is nothing but intellectual property rights. The intellectual property rights is to give me an ownership for the innovation created by the sole person. If the IPR has been done, the theft of idea, in idea can be abolished. Sometimes the per, another person can claim the, your idea as their ideas. So in order to remove those, the IPR is mandatory for every idea to make an ownership of the sole person. So this may be in the form of copyrights, patents, trademarks or design rights or possessing of or and trademarks comma etc so the hyperis should be made, made as a mandatory for every innovation ideas which are proposed by the sole person thank you for your patience wrestling that's the end of the unit 4 we will look after the unit 5 in the next video thank you for watching thank you